Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be unboxing my new Canon M50 camera and I thought that it would be cool to show you guys what it is and how it works. I've been so excited to receive this in the mail because I have an old Canon that is just a bit outdated and is not very good for vlogging and filming so I thought that this would be a great idea. I also have some gear I got with it too, but I'll show you guys that in a bit. All right, here is the beautiful box. I am so, so freaking excited to open this up. I've also seen, I did a lot of research online about this camera and saw that this is kind of like the YouTuber camera to start out with, I guess, as like a, a good one for upgrading lenses and, you know, I guess if you're planning to do YouTube and take good videos, even if you're not planning to do YouTube, it's just a good quality compact camera that you can use. So next up, it comes with some just instruction manuals. You guys probably don't care about that. I have done so much research, I don't really feel the need to read these right now, but I will keep those for safekeeping. First, it comes with this adorable Canon strap. Very, very cute, very useful. Awesome, love that. And it comes with a, I believe this is the battery pack. And this little, oh no, I'm wrong. It's actually the lens. This is so cute and tiny coming from someone who's filming on my old uh, Canon EOS Rebel T5. This is so tiny and just so perfect for bringing places rather than having to bring my big, like thick, DSLR camera, so this is so freaking cute. I absolutely love this. Let me just move some of this wrapping out of the way. Next up we have the battery pack, which is so important. One drawback I have seen that you might want to be aware of if you are planning on getting this camera is some people say that the battery does die a bit fast. I have an extra battery and I think that that's always just a smart idea to carry a second one on you that's charged. So here's the battery. And then lastly is the camera. Oh my God, I cannot wait. Oh, and actually too, I missed a step. There's a, just a charging little like port that you can put the battery in. I have this one for my old camera as well, but just so you guys can, can actually see it, um, you just put the battery right in here and then it has a plug in that goes right into the wall so that you can just charge it easily, plug it into a wall and you're good to go. And now for the final, final piece that I'm so excited about. Here is the, oh my gosh, it's so, it's so perfect. It's so tiny and just so cute. It is so, it's so compact and small and not just like big and bulky like the one that I have. And basically it looks like you, you can uh, take this part off and attach the lens right here. It has this awesome flip out screen. So you can see yourself when you're filming yourself or if you're filming other people, you can spin it like this and get it to go the other way so that, you know, when you're vlogging, for example, this faces you so that you can see yourself. So that's so awesome. Don't want to turn it the wrong way and break it. I'm going to go ahead and attach the lens now so you guys can get kind of a sense of how this works. And then I'm going to charge the battery up and then show you guys what it's like to film with this quality versus the updated quality of the M50. Back again with my, first of all, I got a mobile microphone to help the audio quality of my vlogs and videos, just because sometimes when I'm outside, you know, it gets windy, it kind of muffles with the noise uh, of your voice or, you know, with something that you're trying to shoot. And so I just kind of wanted to get something that captures the sound well. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my camera after this. I will open it so you guys can see what it looks, Oop, what it looks like. Love this. So it comes with, what's in the box? There's a microphone, a furry windscreen, shock mount, soft case, 3.5 millimeter TRS cable, 3.5 millimeter TRRS cable. I can insert a, a close-up video of how this will actually look on my camera and what all of this looks like, but here's the fuzzy one. It's kind of cute and funny. And then there's, looks like two different mounts right here as well. The cords. 
as well as the little case to put it in. So I guess if you're like traveling and you wanna take videos or you know, throw this in your purse or something so that you've got it with you, but it's not getting destroyed, you can have a little travel pack that you can put it in. So that's really awesome. All right, so next up, I'm gonna show you guys my, it's called a man Froto mini tripod that I got and this was also really highly rated on Amazon. I can link all of this stuff down below as well if you want to check all of it out. But basically it's a, a compact tripod that you can, you know, if you're vlogging, you can take videos with it. You have to you hold it and there's just so many different ways that you can twist and turn your camera and set it down and be able to, you know, talk at the camera without it just being set like directly on a table and getting a bad angle of yourself or what you're trying to film. So I got this guy. I will open this guy up. Try not to cut myself. Okay. You can take this thing apart, set your camera down, change the angle of it. This thing can, uh, I believe this can move. Yeah. This part can like swivel side to side and around so that you can change the angles of your camera view, which I think is awesome. So check this guy out. You can also hold it like this too if you want to, pretty awesome. Last item that I got that is so cool and such a good idea. I really wanna do like drive with me videos. And I got this, it's called a Delvin Devices Fat Gecko Mini Mount. And they say impossible shots made possible. So you can take this and suction it to your car window with this big industrial suction. And then it's basically like the tripod, but you put it against your window or windshield or whatever. And then you can turn it around to get different views of yourself while you're, you know, while you're in the car, while you're in the car with other people. And just obviously, so you don't have to hold it while you're driving or something. So pretty awesome. It got good reviews as far as, you know, actually sticking to your window and not falling off. That was one of my main concerns as I would expect anybody to be concerned about that as well. But I guess people said that it works really well. So I'm gonna check it out. Whew. Okay, so it looks like it's got this body right here. So basically you will use this big suction at the bottom to stick onto your window, which is so cool and then obviously it has the little swivel on top oh i see so you press this button that's right here and you press that and then it sticks this guy to your window this is basically an extension arm that you can take and put right here in place of this so that your viewing angle can be much longer i'm gonna leave it as it is just so i can test it as it is but it comes with an allen wrench as well as this little mounting device yeah in order to install it so you get the point, basically you just suck that onto your window and you're good to go. All right, you guys, so I just got this all set up and ready to go. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a, a closer look at it so you can see I got the microphone up on the top and I got the little fuzzy thing over the mic so that it'll make the audio better. I've got my tripod all screwed into the bottom right here and I also wanted to show you guys just how I got the microphone on here in case you're looking to get the same one. So basically, I just put it right up into this top piece of the cannon. You have to take the, there's a little top piece that you have to slide out and then this mount slides right in there. And then you just take the cord that's designed for your camera in specific and plug that right into the side. So yeah, it seems like it should work just fine. I don't think it'll really be too badly in the way of the flip out screen, but I guess we should probably try it out. What do you think? I'm just gonna quickly do my settings now. April 28 of 2021. All right, so one last thing I wanted to do before I switch over and show you guys the quality of the M50 audio and video. I just wanted to talk a little bit just so that you guys are able to see the difference between the two. So this is my voice and this is me with my Canon Rebel EOS T5. Now here's me on the M50. Wow, this quality is amazing. You can literally see so many more details. That is just incredible, especially even in like low light. This is just, it looks beautiful. Crazy. 
I think it's gonna be hard for me to not look at the screen though while I'm doing this because I'm used to just looking at the lens because my old camera didn't have the pop-out screen, but now that this one does, it's hard for me to not look to the right side of the camera and just look straight ahead and do it that way. But wow, this is so... Just the quality is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, this is crazy. You can see my earrings, my freckles, my flyaways. Wow, that's crazy, oh my gosh. It's so weird how you can like see yourself. Get a close up of this. Look how clear that is. This is why we can't have cameras. I love it, I'm obsessed. Now I can't ask you. Look at it, it focuses on your eyes and everything. Look how clear that is. That's insane. Wow, even as I'm moving, the background just blurs. This is so freaking cool. This is crazy. I'm just testing it in different settings to see you know, kind of what it does in the lower light and then when the light is on my face. Wow, this is absolutely stunning. I love this so much. Like, look at that. You can literally see, like, every detail. Oh my gosh. Let's see how close I can get. Like, I can see my, like, the details of my eyelashes even. Oh my gosh crazy. Also, I'm hoping you guys can tell a difference in the audio quality as well because of the mic that I've got on top of this now. We will see. You guys will have to let me know. Looking at myself in the monitor right now, the quality is just incredible. It's so clean and clear. I can tell that it's tracking my face. I also have my mic on the top of this. Hopefully it's making an audio difference. I'm definitely going to test that out with a bunch of different settings and see what that sounds like, but yeah, hopefully the audio sounds much better than my old camera. I can already tell an image difference on this one versus my old one. It's so nice to finally have a flip out screen where I can see myself, so yeah, this is quite an upgrade if I do say so myself. All right, well, if you guys liked that video, let me know in the comments. Hopefully this is helpful for you in some way. I will put links down below to everything in this video that I used. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. I hope you like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.